All right, I was watching a uh, an interview with Daniel Ellsberg um, on Democracy Now. And Daniel Ellsberg had a uh, had an interesting comment that I wanted to use, uh, and it was about Chelsea Manning and how the government and the Trump administration is trying to use her to bear false witness to uh, attack the press. Now, he said that the press should be careful about, uh, about this and that they should be completely against this because it is an attack on the press and that it can and will be used against them. <laughs> and uh, and while I can uh, I can agree with that statement, I don't, however, think that it is applicable where uh, corporate media is concerned, as they are the establishment propaganda, uh, seditious propaganda for the country. Uh, but. I wanted to take that uh, term false witness because uh, while I was uh, raised Catholic and Christian, I am, however, I am, however, uh, strongly against uh, religion, uh, not just Christianity, but I don't care if it's Hinduism, I don't care if it's Buddhism, I don't care if it's uh, Ju uh, Judaism or Islam. Or, or any of any of those. I, uh, I am. I am uh, virulently against religion. Uh, but being raised Catholic, having gone to, uh, gone to uh, <coughs> uh, CCD and all that other stuff, I know enough about uh, enough about it to know uh, what I'm talking about so that's where I, I want to go I want to go and flip it on uh, on the head on uh, flip it on its head from the secular way that uh, that he was speaking about bearing false witness I want to uh, talk about it in a religious way because in Judaism and in Islam and Christianity it's a this is a common these are common things, and that is the Ten Commandments. There is a version of it in all three. And so, uh, so for the fake Christians uh, that uh, reside in the U.S. and in the West, uh, I want to... I want to address. I want to address uh, these issues. So, just like Ellsworth says, that it's that they're trying to make Chelsea Manning bear false witness. Well, you fake Christians and you right wingers, you and the and you conservatives, who buy and lean towards the right wingers and the fake Christians. You are bearing false witness against, against your neighbor. That is one of the commandments. You do this in a, you do this continuously and consistently. Thou shalt not kill. There are right wingers who call themselves Christian who kill. So two strikes there. Thou shalt not have any gods other than my other than me what else does it say it says about false idols in that same commandment I just talked about Trump and the Republicans and the corporate Democrats are false idols the corporate the corporations are false idols the wealthy, the ultra-wealthy, 
of false idols. The media are false idols. You are worshipping all the So now you got three. That's just three out of the ten. And you've broken every commandment. All ten commandments. That includes those of Islam. They have broken every commandment. That includes the Jews. They have broken every commandment. None of you can be called adherents to the religion because, in fact, everything that it talks about in all three religious texts <laughs> about, about eating from poison fruit, about, uh, about, uh, about uh, how uh, speaking in forked tongue and about how, uh, about how all the things, all the punishments and the wrath and the wrath speaks about talking about the evils. That is what you are doing. Everything that condemns in the Bible, you do. In the Quran, you do. In the Torah, you do. All of it. You do not get to be able to cherry pick. You do not. That is what adherence to your religion and to God means. You do not get a choice to cherry pick. You do not get a choice to follow what commandments that you that you want at that at that specific time? Because you have broken everything, and the rapture, which is talked about in the Bible, it also comes in the Quran, it also comes in uh, in the Torah. All three of them state it. Well, guess what? You are not going to be the ones who are taken up to heaven. You will not be sitting on the right side, right hand of God in paradise. No, you will be going to damnation and the eternal fires of hell. That is what will happen if you are right about God and your religions, but you're not. You are not. And that is the reason why. Because you know, you fake religion, religious, you know that you don't believe in God, that you are, in fact, not atheists, but Satanists, demon worshippers, evil worshippers. You are the cult of death. You are the cult of destruction. You are the cult of lies. You are the cult of violence, death, destruction. You are the vile, fork-tongued, Evil. You are the army of Satan. Because you have broken every commandment. You have committed every sin. You are, in fact, the very evil which all three of your so-called religious text speaks of. Mm -hmm. 
this is not my condemnation, which it is. I do condemn you. I condemn you vehemently. But your own religion condemns you. Your own God condemns you. But then again, you don't actually follow your God. The ones that you mouth bearing false witness. You are the blasphemers. And you shall roast in your fiery pit of hell. Because you are the worshippers of Satan. You are his army. Understand, I am not one that follows religion. I follow the golden rule. I try to live by the golden rule. I have empathy. I have compassion. I am flawed. I am human. I make mistakes. I have lied. I have committed. But nothing in all three religions states that you can that you cannot make mistakes. But when you commit to making all ten mistakes, when you continue to make those mistakes, then you will be cast down. And that is the God's honest truth.